Amazing, perfect. What's going on guys? Uh, it's been a while since I posted, but today you guys are gonna tag along with uh, Garrett and I. We gotta run a couple of errands and then I run a cleaning company and we gotta race over and see one of my colleagues before he finishes, so. It's currently nine o'clock, so we've got an hour to get there. So we're gonna let Garrett drive my car today. It's time too. Yeah. For those of you guys who don't know, Garrett works sales at a car dealership, so not his first rodeo. Yeah. So for those of you guys who don't know, I actually run a cleaning company that's Ottawa based. If you guys ever need your cleaning needs, uh, we're gonna hook you up. <laughs> guys, if you got cars and you don't actually drive them, then zero respect. Yeah, all these brakes are pretty nice. Yeah. Bro. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, you gotta love the you gotta yeah. love the seats on the S5, guys. No, truly, bro. It's, really it's always a vibe, guys. It's always a vibe. We love to see Garrett's parking job. What yeah, do we think? Just, uh, what do we yeah, think? Gotta be careful of the car, you know? What do we give this? <laughs> Is it all right? Okay, million dollar question. Is it all right to park like an asshole with a car like this? I don't think or are we not there yet? I don't think that's an asshole. Oh, you don't think it's asshole parking? Yeah, Let me know, if you have a Lambo or a GT3 RS or anything of that sort, are you excused to be parking like Garrett? Anyway guys, so first errand is done. What we're gonna do is head to our commercial property, uh, check on how the cleaning's going, tune in with my colleague. I'm sure the quality's gonna be fine, as it always is, but you know, we always like to help out, so. It's 9.30, we have like 30 minutes to get to uh, our commercial property and we're 15 minutes away, so. We're for sure gonna make it, and uh, we'll give you guys a quick tour of the property, maybe. All right guys, this is it. Looking very clean, it's doing a great job. This whole area's been mopped already, clearly guys. Uh, all tiles have been cleaned, all garbage has been emptied. Uh, we might run into Fabricio. So. Hey, How are you my friend? Good, and you? Good. Fabricio, this past week, um, everything's been amazing. I hope you're Thanks. finding everything okay. Oh, I'm in, yeah. I'm Anything that bothers you, chances are it all would bother me too, so. No? Okay. Nothing. Good, good, good. Okay, no, Fabricio, this looks great. Like. Apart from that, yeah, not your fault. Look at how good the rest of them look. Yeah, they look amazing. So, and this I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix all of them up quickly. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna fix all of them. Up. Up. All right, guys. So that was one of my colleagues, Fabrizio, uh, amazing employee. I hired him about two weeks ago, and he's taken over this amazing property. So this is one of the commercial properties that we manage. Uh, I'm pretty sure they run a trucking company, and obviously there's a lot of moving pieces. So what they've actually opted in for is our full-time service. Uh, which is when we set an employee here pretty much after hours since, you know, during the workday, uh, people are in from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. So what we do is we set a dedicated individual and that individual is here from 7 p.m. to about 10 or obviously until the job's finished because we never leave until the job is finished. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll put a couple steps in. We'll show you guys around the property, uh, what our work looks like. This is what the bathrooms look like. Yeah, toilets are spotless as usual, so... If you guys are thinking of starting a cleaning company at any point, make sure your staff are fully trained. Uh, make sure you invest a lot of time, effort, money, and supplies into getting them trained right. Otherwise, it's just going to bite you in the back. This is a nice washer for this building. So we got uh, Garrett taking a piss. So we're just doing some final touch-ups. Garrett's straightening out the faucets. I think they're broken, but obviously light switches. Electricity bills always add up, so. So yeah, we're gonna make a couple touch-ups in the office. Uh, Fabricio did an amazing job mopping, uh, but what's a little unfortunate is I think someone might have uh, went back in to do either paperwork or use the washroom, and the footprints are really uh, visible. We're gonna show you what the footprints look like. So as you guys can see, someone came in here and used the washroom and uh, left a couple marks. We can never leave any unit or space like this. Yeah. So for those of you guys who don't know, these are the best mops. They're the Rubbermaid Hygiene Mops. I, I actually shouldn't be giving that information out for free. But uh, for all you guys who are hustlers out there and are thinking of starting your own cleaning company, the Hygiene Mops, the Hygiene Mops are the best. They get the work done. I'm about to show you guys how much surface area we can cover in such a short amount of time. So this is how much surface area you guys can cover with a proper mop which is why I always stress investing in the right equipment. So as you can see, we're covering a large amount of surface area. You can tell how effortless this is. Yeah, I can hardly cover. even. 
hardly even keep up here with this mopping yeah, skill. That's idea. just it. Yeah. Look at how effortless that is, guys. Okay, and we're gonna do all the way to the very end. Two more lights. Trash. Yeah, forget the trash. We told Fabrizio that we'd take the trash out. He's having a long day, so guy needs a break. Get the S5. I think we gotta get a little uh, cold start on the S5, eh? I think so, man. What do you think? I think so. You wanna start her up? That's what we like to hear. <laughs> you hear the pops and crackles? Yeah, man. Let's go, we're gonna, brother. We're gonna close up the video. Uh, for those of you guys who are interested in starting a cleaning company, shoot me a text, DM me. All my socials are gonna be in the bio below. Uh, huge thanks to Garrett. Uh, huge thanks to my amazing team. Uh, if it's if it's one of the things I can't stress enough of, your team is your biggest asset, and you got to treat them like family. With Blue Sponge, my team comes first. We invest in the best equipment. We invest in a shit ton of training, and we just simply try and do everything right. In fact, we don't even have any competition. We're so focused with ourselves that. We don't even have time to take into consideration what anybody else is doing. That's it for today, guys. Have a great day, and uh, thanks for tuning in.